Okay, so it's me again, and because you're watching this part of the uh, video, I'm stuck in traffic again. Uh, this time the traffic, or as we say in Hebrew, Amus, is probably because there's a lot of construction going on um, in Yerushalayim, in Jerusalem. Um, especially the, the path that I have to go. Uh, I think they're building like a train station there. So there's always a lot of backup, and unfortunately they used to have uh, Ramazor, which is a traffic light there, and now they changed it to uh, Kikar. A uh, key car is kind of like um, a circular intersection where um, in order to enter it you kind of go in a little bit of a circle and you go around, you know, I think it's kind of similar to what they have in England, I think. But uh, ever since they added it, I mean, the traffic was bad when they had the Ramzor there, but ever since they added this key car, it seems like it's worse because there's no, like, direction, you know, for the people to come in, the people to go out, you know, it's just everybody kind of goes whenever they feel like it. Um, so now I'm kind of just stuck. So since I'm stuck, it's time for a little bit more uh, Hebrew learning. It's probably good that you see what I'm battling against right now. That's what I'm going against. So basically, nothing's moving up there. It's a big key card. It's like a circle. Okay, cause some of the words I've been, some of the words I've been learning lately, um, you know, I've been dealing with like different concepts that uh, exist in uh, the martial art that I'm training in, which is uh, Abir, um, so Jewish martial art. Um, so one of the words I'm learning now, it's Surah, which also is Bet Surat, um, which essentially means form, shape, or format. Um, Bet Surat is in the form of, and you know, we, of course, you, know, you do like any kind of, uh, you know, fighting style or martial arts style, in many cases, there's a form of uh, how to do movements or how you learn movements. Um, you know, and then you take those forms and, you know, once you, you know, learn them and physically make them a part of like your physical being, you know, in terms of, you know, you don't have to think about, okay, let me move this way or move that way. Um, you know, the, you know, leads into other elements of the particular style that you're learning. So, you know, I'm learning that word, sura, bet sura, uh, which doesn't exactly, from what I've been told, um, mean, you know, the same thing in that way in terms of a form, uh, which, which I think the actual statement for that is uh, tafnit bet uh, tanu. But uh, this is a good word to know. So that's Sura or Pitsurat. So if you're wondering what exactly um, I'm reading off of whenever I do this uh, little piece, uh, you know, when I'm stuck in traffic with uh, Hebrew words, I have these uh, little Hebrew flashcards. Uh, I'm not sure how well you can probably see them. It's Hebrew on one side and then uh, English on the other side of what the actual translation is. So this one I'm working on now while I'm still stuck in traffic is uh, cn, which is uh, in this form of verb, uh, boal. Um, and basically what it means is to indicate or point out. So you have cn, when you know, like if I was to say, ani metzayen, um, you know, it's like I am pointing out, or ani hatzayen, I will point out. Sianti, uh, so I pointed it out. Ani sianti, you know, is one way of doing it. Um, also siyun, which is a um, feminine uh, noun, for the, uh, for the same uh, shoresh, or the same root, is uh, indication, a mark, or grade. Okay, so also, you have the word landmark, which is siyune uh, derech. Siyune derech is a landmark. Alright, so, I'm still stuck in traffic, still trying to move, and the funny thing is, after I get, it's almost like, I think, um, I forget how far it really is that I have to go, but it's not very far. Once I get past this one intersection, I mean, pretty much it's like a straight shot to, uh, to work, where I go to Lud. And you know, there's really no traffic in that way, but just this one area. I have no idea why they made it into like one lane, um, you know, all the way through. I mean, it just seems like they would have made it a lot bigger, but maybe they weren't thinking that far ahead. Um, another word uh, that I've got here is um, what is it? Uh, katanuni. Katanuni is like petty or trivial. Very important word to know if you're anywhere in the Middle East. A <laughs> very important word. Um, you know, there's, there's a number of things that are katanuni, you know, or here I should say, I'm sometimes flipping between Hebrew and English, but, um, 
כי יש הרבה דברים, לא, לא הרבה, יש דברים פה, זה קטנונים, וגם יש דברים, אני מבין, למה זה עובד כמו זה, או לא עובד כמו זה, אבל זה ב... בניינים בשביל המדינה, או בניינים כמו uh, מזרד, uh, you know, uh, הרבה מזרדים בשביל uh, הממשלה, הרבה דברים שם uh, זה קטנוני, זה, you know, זה, זה, וגם you know, יש דברים כל כך בעבודה שלי, זה קטנוני, בין, בין אנשים וגם uh, זה עומד uh, לפניי אני, כשאני לא יכול uh, לעשות עבודה שלי. Um, כך um, אני חושב המילה קטנוני זה חשוב בשבילי לזכור uh, בזמן הזה וגם בעבודה. So on this topic, uh, I guess when I'm stuck in traffic, there's a few things besides just words I can say. Um, last night was uh, kind of an interesting moment for me. Um, so the, I voted uh, last night in the uh, city elections for Malay to Mim. I think pretty much all the cities around Israel are having ele- were having elections last night. Um, Jerusalem, you know, of course, is a big one. Um, but in Malay to Mim, there was basically two contenders for mayor. Um, Benny Kazrael and uh, the other guy, I forgot his first name, but I knew it was like Ben Khur was his like last name. Um, essentially, I voted for Benny Kasrael, and you know the reason was uh, you know he's you know been in office you know as mayor of Mali Demim I think for a little bit more for 20 years, and uh, you know Ben Khur's um, uh, campaign slogan was that uh, Benny Kasrael had been in office too long, and that's all I ever heard from his campaign. I mean you know maybe there was more to it, but. Uh, basically, all I ever saw around town was a look. Benny Casarel is you know must pick. You know that's enough. You know he's already been in office two, you know twenty something years. Um, you know I went ahead and voted for Benny Casarel because you know I moved to Mile to me. You know everything looks good to me. Um, you know the city's nice. I mean it's pretty clean. I mean you know the school district supposedly the school district is one of the best around the country from what I understand. I, mean, I don't have any kids yet, but uh, you know it's nice to know. Uh, usually if you have a pretty good school district, you know stuff like that. You know. Other things kind of work out also. One thing about voting uh, here in Israel, I mean, there are no, uh, at, least, at least in Mali to me, there weren't any voting machines. Uh, you know, pretty much they split it off into like different, I guess, buildings you can go to to vote, and then the buildings have different rooms uh, that your card that they send you uh, tells you where to go. So, you know, you go in, you get like the two forms, you know, because they also voted for city council last night. Uh, so it was mayor and city council that we voted for. And, um, you know, basically you go to this little booth one person at a time, you know, they only allow one person at a time to go to each of these booths and, you know, there are no other booths. And um, essentially you grab the card with the name of the person you want to vote for, stick it in the envelope, drop it in. Um, you know, so for me it was interesting because I was a little scared at first because I haven't voted uh, in years. I mean, when I lived in the States, you know, I stopped voting just because I really didn't believe in the system, um, you know, in terms of, you know, it's not exactly one man, one vote. Um, you know, but um, upon moving to Israel, you know, I said I was going to definitely vote because here, uh, basically, not voting here in Israel can be a life or death situation. You know, I mean, you, we vote one person in, he may put us at war, you know, or may give away land that really shouldn't, you know, go to, you know, those who or make themselves out to be our enemies, those kind of things.